we want you to know that it is possible to be an enlightened spiritual master there on earth and to activate more of your Arcturian DNA. Forgiveness, compassion, and unconditional love are far more valuable tools for you to have at the ready right now than finger pointing and accusing and looking for those you can lock up. Remember that everything is possible and you are there to climb the highest mountains, to overcome the insurmountable obstacles, and to be love in the face of hate. This is the time for those of you who are awake to follow our lead and form new alliances. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Welcome to the Reality Revolution. Today we're reading some amazing new channelings from the Arcturian Council, taken from the book Ascension, The Shift to the Fifth Dimension, Volume 4. And I'm reading from the chapter on your galactic connections, which really talks about open contact and activating your Arcturian DNA, big and beautiful events to come on planet Earth, new alliances, blueprints, UFO disclosure, instant manifestation. Should the Arcturians take form and land the ships? There are a number of interesting topics covered here. I really love reading the Arcturian Council. They come from a high vibration. They cover a variety of topics, including reality creation, as well as our shift into the new Earth. The Arcturian Council. Activate your Arcturian DNA. The bigger picture of full ET contact. Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have evaluated several of the instances there on Earth where there has been open physical contact with extraterrestrial beings, and one of the conclusions that we've come to is that things have not ended well for humanity in the majority of those instances. We were referring to the time that humanity was assisted by the Lyrans, the time when humanity was deceived by beings known as the Anunnaki, and we are talking about the instance in Egypt where several different extraterrestrial races came to both assist humanity and also to take advantage of humanity's view of extraterrestrials. So oftentimes, ETs have been seen as angels or gods, and they have taken advantage of that belief that the humans held about them. When you have had full open physical contact with ET beings, more often than not, they have taken advantage of the fact that humanity assumed they were something other than what they were. And now you live in a time where you are better served at questioning everything that comes to you in terms of information, stories, even first-hand accounts. You live in a time where it is very easy to put information out there that seems true, that sounds true, and even has some truth sprinkled into it, but that ultimately contains more of a desire to deceive than a desire to inform. Those of you who are seeking that open, full, physical contact with ETs must take into consideration what humanity has already experienced. Even though you are going to connect with benevolent ET beings, who will have your best interests at heart, when they do land their ships in an open way, you will be dealing with the trauma of Lemuria, Atlantis, and the feelings of abandonment you experienced in Egypt, India, Scandinavia, and in countless other times in your history. And so this is another fact to take into consideration when you are so certain that you want that full open contact with physical ETs right away. Some of you think that the sooner this happens, the better. However, you are still working through your trauma of ETs as a collective. All of you were present during at least one of these instances that turned out to be quite traumatic for those of you who took part in those contact experiences. You are ready for that experience. Those of you who are receiving this message have done your work. You've cleared trauma. You feel ready for ET contact because you are but you are a small segment of the human population. The work is being done to ready your fellow humans, and you are doing a huge part of that work. Continue doing what you're doing and be open to having your own personal experiences with benevolent ETs, and just know that the rest of humanity is moving at a pace that is pleasing to those like us who can see the bigger picture here. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Activate your Arcturian DNA. Greetings, we are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have learned from many humans who we consider to be enlightened spiritual masters there on your world. We have witnessed so many individuals who have that Arcturian DNA fully activated 
and as a result they pursue that which is taking them to higher and higher heights of spiritual awareness, of unity consciousness, and of unconditional love. These individuals are not waiting for anything to happen. They are not trying to manifest anything or anyone into their lives. They are simply fascinated by existence and their ability to feel. They have desires, just like the rest of you, but they are wired in such a way that their desires are all about the expansion of their consciousness. They want to feel good, just like the rest of you want to feel good, but they have taken a more direct path. They are not going to let a circumstance determine how they feel. They are not going to let an insult or a letdown determine how they feel. Now we tell you this because we want you to know that it is possible to live a life of joy, freedom, harmony, peace, and love, even if nothing in your life and nothing in your world is inspiring those states of being to be activated within you. And yes, these individuals chose a path for themselves in this lifetime. In addition to choosing to have more of the, our Arcturian DNA activated, and those are the reasons why they pursue a life where they are seeking higher and higher heights of spiritual experiences rather than looking for fame, fortune, and to be adored by others. Trust us when we say that these individuals have all done that previously and they chose to be who they are in this lifetime because living a life in pursuit of spiritual mastery is yet another experience for the soul. You might think we are telling you this because we think everyone should aspire to be like these individuals, but believe us when we say that we know you are right where you are supposed to be and that your desires are perfect as they are. Again, we just want you to know what is possible. We want you to know that it is possible to be an enlightened spiritual master there on earth and to activate more of your Arcturian DNA if that's something you want to do. And of course, we are here to help you with that if you want to do it. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Big beautiful events to come on planet Earth. Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are establishing very strong bonds, very strong connections with those of you who have taken an interest in us while in your waking state. But even those who are unaware of our existence while they are awake do sometimes come and visit us in the astral plane. That means we are establishing connections with billions of humans at this time, most of which are unaware that the connections have been established and that there is a strong bond between us. They are unaware when they are awake and very aware when they are asleep at night. What this means for humankind is that you are getting closer and closer every day to being ready for full and open extraterrestrial contact. It does take the human mind time to catch up to what is going on energetically and these individuals who do not know about their conversations with us in the astral plane are still carrying the positive effects of those conversations in their energy fields and in the exact perfect timing they will receive in their waking state what they have already received while in their sleep state. These are complex times that you are living in there on the planet earth. And those of us who are helpers who have agreed to be that for you have to do everything that we can. Now those of you who receive our transmissions and connect with us while you are in your waking state also connect with other beings and other collectives while you travel the astral plane. And some of you remember those interactions, but most of you don't. Most of you are also waiting for that moment when what's in your energy field seeps into your waking consciousness. These are also very exciting times there on planet Earth as you have all of that to look forward to and so much more. There is so much more to uncover for humanity and everything there on Earth will get easier as you let the big and beautiful events that are to come find their way to you. In the meantime, we know that you sometimes fail to find the purpose of being there or you struggle to be in your joy with the monotony of day-to-day -day life on planet Earth. Believe us when we say with everything that is happening while human beings are asleep, you are in for some giant leaps forward there on planet Earth and they are coming soon. All you have to do is live your lives and from time to time reflect upon them. And then, when you drift off to sleep, put forth the intention that you remember what occurs as you leave your physical bodies behind and go off into other star systems and dimensions. The fun that you have and the stories that you will tell someday will absolutely blow your minds. 
We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. New alliances, blueprints, and templates to come. Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are ready and willing to partner with any of the other collectives throughout this galaxy of ours for the purpose of assisting humanity there on Earth at this time. We have never felt more dedicated to the cause of assisting you in raising your vibration, and we have already patterned with so many collectives, including Pleiadians, Andromedans, Lyrans, Syrians, and Cassiopeians. We also call upon the Archangels and Ascended Masters on your behalf, as we know we can channel their energy into our collective and then act as a sort of magnifying glass to project that energy down to planet Earth. The energies upon you right now are intense because you have all gotten very intense and you have called upon these same collectives and higher dimensional beings for assistance many times. We understand that partnering up makes us stronger and helps us to realize more of who we really are as source energy. As all that is, right now our focus is on assisting those like you who are awake, aware, and ready for more because you're willing to unite with your fellow humans to bring about the great changes that are coming to planet Earth. And the great changes are coming, but it is up to all of you to create that change that you want to see on your world. Yes, you are there to open up and receive as much as you can, but you are also there to focus on what it is you want to see in society, in the global arena, and sometimes you, you do need to take certain actions in order to connect the dots between all of the light workers, grid workers, and way showers across the planet. You have done so much already for humanity, but you really are just beginning to see how real change is made there on Earth, as the times you are living in have forced many to reach out and form bonds that they would not have otherwise have formed. This is the time for those of you who are awake to follow our lead and form new alliances, just as we are seeking to form new alliances here from our lofty perch, here in the ninth dimension. We will send you the templates and the blueprints, the instruction manual, if you will, on how to work together to maximize your power and strengthen as a unified whole, as the collective you were always meant to be. You have awakened, and now it is time to flex that power to create. And you are so much more powerful when you are united. And that is why we always stress that forgiveness, compassion, and unconditional love are far more valuable tools for you to have at the ready right now than finger pointing and accusing and looking for those you can lock up. It is time to start to see the world as it truly is, a reflection of everything that is inside of you, and we know you can do this. We have a tremendous amount of faith in you as we see how you respond to our energies all the time. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. First open contact is coming. Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are finding ourselves more and more significantly involved in a movement amongst all of the other beings throughout this galaxy to put Earth on the fast track for full open contact, a mass landing of ships. We know that many human beings are not ready for that experience, but we also know that they can and will come around after a while after the shock and fear are processed. We also know that the best candidates for first contact with humanity would be extraterrestrial beings who looked a lot like you, and there are plenty of those ETs around. There are plenty of ETs who want to land and share their insights on what's going on there on Earth at this time. You have spiritual teachers all across your world, most of which don't get a lot of attention from the masses, but if you had ETs walking off of spaceships to be your spiritual teachers, we know that human beings would pay attention. We also know that the ETs in question would be making a lot of sense. They would appeal to your logical minds and to your feeling senses, as you would of course want to use your ability to discern in order to determine whether or not they had your best interests at heart. Now we know that this will all happen eventually, and we can just see the appropriateness of it happening sooner rather than later. Most people don't know what to think, what to believe, whom to put their faith in. And we are talking about all kinds of people there on your world who have been leaders to humanity in the past, but now who are being held in question as to whether their motives are sound. And because people are losing faith 
and what they once believed in at such a rapid rate, something or someone needs to step up and fill that void. This is why we are always encouraging you all to be the leaders and teachers of humanity. But as we said, it can be difficult to get people to listen to you when you seem no different than the other humans that they have lost faith in not too long ago. One of the reasons why we knew that we would get so much attention from humanity is because we are from another star system and another dimension. We knew that people would pay more attention to us because of that, and most people who do receive us do in fact benefit from what we are offering. Those of you who have opened yourselves up to us receive more than just information. You receive more than just predictions about what may happen in the future. You receive the energetic transmissions that we give off that helps to elevate your consciousness. So imagine what that would be like if you were to be sitting in a stadium filled with other humans listening to physical ETs, fourth dimensional beings who could offer their suggestions. Imagine how much energy could be transmitted and absorbed at one of those gatherings and there would be many happening simultaneously. That is why we are advocating for first open contact to come sooner than later. It is because we have seen how well you will receive us and we know that many others there on earth are ready to receive physical ETs and their wisdom and knowledge. More importantly, you would be receiving their high frequency vibration and that is something you need to give more of your attention to at all times. Focus on what is high vibrational and you will be seen as ready for your fourth dimensional ET friends. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. UFO disclosure is happening and what it means. Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are as happy as many of you are about the disclosure that is taking place at this time on the topic of UFOs. This disclosure has been happening for quite some time. And every time that something else is disclosed, you get a bit more confirmation of what you already knew to be true. So what does this then signify for humanity? What does it mean when a country's military announces publicly that they have seen objects in the sky that they could not account for? We want to stop those of you who are going to see this as an intentional distraction from going there. And instead, we want you to open yourselves up to the possibility that this means more humans are ready to understand that you're not alone in the universe. From where we are sitting, that is the takeaway. Now many of you will get very excited about sharing this with members of your family and with friends who have thought your beliefs were quite bizarre for a while now and certainly you can take some satisfaction in knowing that you were validated. But the much bigger picture here is how these disclosure events keep getting bigger and bigger because that indicates that something big is going to happen there on earth. What will happen will be much bigger than people feeling validated about their beliefs. Many people have wondered when contact with ETs would be openly discussed by high-ranking government officials from powerful countries. You are coming into that time now and you can rest assured this all means that more is coming and more and more. And someday you will have ETs walking amongst you openly. You'll be able to ride on their ships and go to faraway places and they will share their technology with everyone. This is happening and it's a part of the shift in consciousness. Now you might wonder what the relationship is between UFOs, ETs and your ascension. It is quite simple really. You need to know that you are much more than just physical bodies with brains. You are living out a lifespan in a single lifetime on a single planet. You need to know there is a bigger story to who you are, where you came from and even how you were created to be the way you are right now as a human race. The answers to those questions will expand consciousness there on your world. People will start to think differently and it is okay to have something happen that then causes people to think differently. It is perfectly fine that it's not just coming because of a person meditated for 12 hours a day for 12 days straight. It is reasonable that it is happening through ET contact rather than through some other spiritual practice that led to someone's enlightenment. That is one way, that is one experience, but you don't have to earn the expansion of your consciousness. It's very natural for it to occur, and it is occurring, and this is a reflection to you of that. And you can all breathe a sigh of relief, because this is hard evidence that more is coming, and that the more that is coming is what you have wanted for a very long time. Relax, smile, and take a deep breath, because you have made a tremendous stride forward yet again there on planet Earth. We are the Arcturian Council. We have enjoyed connecting with you. This is Instant Manifestation.
Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are sending you waves and waves of appreciation for what you've been willing to do there on Earth. You've been able to endure so much in the name of the expansion of consciousness because that's what this is all about. That's why we all left the source energy dimension and came by the power of our own free will to this galaxy to create these unique experiences. We all decided to be a part of this galactic experience because we knew that in so doing we would be breaking new ground, accessing aspects of source that had never been accessed before and we knew that we couldn't fail. The reason that you all cannot fail is because you are infinite and eternal beings. Therefore, there really is nothing to worry about. You're absolutely succeeding, even when you fail. Haven't you ever failed at something and then later realized the importance of that failure in your life? Haven't you been able to see how significant that moment was and what you created as a result? Failure is a judgment that you place on something that ultimately is just a catalyst. It's a springboard. Humanity cannot fail and you will not fail. You will continue to grow and expand and you will continue to exceed expectations because that's what you do. We see you doing it all day, every day, and we are continually impressed by the way that you grow in spite of a society that doesn't necessarily nurture growth experiences. There are times when you have to be everything to yourselves there on earth. And when you do, when you are, you should see the way your energy fields expand. That happens immediately. This is instant manifestation. It's not getting some physical shiny object in the moment you decide you want it. It's the experience of your own expansion that if you could feel it, if you could truly know it, you would then agree with us that the expansion of consciousness is what this is all about. And you would realize that the shiny object was just put there by you to get you to have something that was interesting and exciting enough to keep you consciously expanding and growing there on planet Earth. Take the instant manifestation that the expansion of your consciousness is and you will always be in the flow. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Should the Arcturians take form and land the ships? Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are always tempted to lower our vibration enough to take physical form, not because we would like to have bodies again, but because we know that we would be taken more seriously by many if they could see us in the flesh. We certainly would get a lot of attention if we walked around humankind or if we landed ships and emerged from those ships to make ourselves known. You all are so accustomed to perceiving with your five senses that you have come to rely upon them too heavily and they really do need to be set aside at times in order for you to go deeper with your spiritual evolution. Many of you know that you can only see and hear a tiny fragment of what is actually available to be seen and heard, yet you still consider your five senses to be your most important, your most significant tools for understanding reality. One of the advantages that we have in incarnating is that we can be felt by everyone. We are not limited in terms of where we can go or how we can connect and communicate. We are available to each and every one of you all the time. And these transmissions through Daniel here are meant to train you to be able to harmonize your vibration with ours. You can, and you someday will have the ability and you will have your direct communication with us. Receiving these transmissions is your training and tapping into our insights, our healing and our love, our gifts. You will bestow upon yourselves when the timing is right. Some of you are aware of this and you have tuned in and you have received the benefits of tuning into us vibrationally. What you have been able to receive thus far is just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more that we can give to you and it is available right now to those who are willing to go beyond the five senses and reach for the feeling that we activate within you every time you read or listen to one of these transmissions. You also get to experience more of your Arcturian selves as you harmonize with us vibrationally and that is of great service to you. We want you to know how fortunate we feel to be able to connect with you in any way. And we want you to benefit just as much as we do. But in order to do that, you must open yourselves up energetically to us. You must let us in and merge with us to fully benefit from all that we have to offer. 
And even though the scenario where we take on physical form and come visit you seems like the better deal, trust us when we say that we know from experience what actually works best. You are not the first planet of beings we have sought to help, and you will not be the last. We take what we learn and we use it to become better at giving, better at teaching, and better at holding space for all of you to become your true selves. And just as you can feel us, we can feel you. And we just want you to know that you are doing so much better in every moment of every day. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. You are receiving signs from the universe. Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are completely fascinated by humanity's ability to know things on an intuitive level, but also by the inability for you then to make the leap of faith from the intuitive to the pure knowledge of something as truth in the moment. You are constantly being given signs, and many of you recognize them and their significance. But you will only go so far, you will not allow for one synchronicity to be enough to convince you of something. You will want to see it again and again. So many of you are incapable of having enough faith in the flow of the universe to understand how cared for you are. You are being helped. You are being shown those signs. They are signs that will be interpreted perfectly by you because you put them there with the help of your guides and other helpers. Then your mind gets involved. Your mind can tell you all the kinds of stories about why this or that happened, about why you saw something that was just a coincidence. Or your mind will tell you that you're seeing these things now because you are looking for them. But you are living in a very orderly universe. And it is your universe. The universe as you experience it is you talking to yourself. And therefore, if you know what a sign or a symbol or a synchronicity means to you, then you have gotten the answer. Just keep paying attention and working on your faith, which is feeling based, so that it eventually overrides your mental processing, which is thought based. You want to go beyond the limitations of the physical 3D mind in this lifetime, and in order to do that, you must first admit to yourselves that your minds are very limited. They are brilliant, they are creative, they are imaginative, and they are limited. And it's not your fault. This is not a judgment of your minds. Your minds have to be limited in order for you to play this game that you are playing, but you are ready to move on. You are ready to graduate to the next level. And the next level is all about going beyond the mind and into the knowing of yourself as spirit, as an essence, as an aspect of source. Yes, you are creating all of this and putting everything in front of yourselves, and then with some help, becoming aware of what you are meant to be aware of in the moment. And then the choice is yours. Will you follow your faith and your feelings, or will you stay trapped in the endless loop of the physical mind? We think we know what your answer is, and now all you have to do is apply it over and over again so that the rest of humanity can witness you and your success and want to know what your secret is. And you will share it to them because you know that you are also moving beyond the time of keeping secret from each other how powerful you really are. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. A huge step toward joining the galactic community. Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are so very capable of seeing the patterns as they emerge on your world. And right now we can see that the patterns are indicating a greater awareness of your place within the galactic community. Especially amongst those who have been non-believers in extraterrestrials for their entire lives. The way their newfound beliefs manifest is in their willingness to investigate, their willingness to go further than they have ever gone before with a sense of curiosity about who or what else exists in this universe. Skepticism is healthy to a certain degree because it allows you to tap into your discernment abilities which you need. But when someone is skeptical without ever questioning their skepticism, that's when you know there is something larger at play within the individual that needs to be uncovered. And that is also happening. People are questioning why they believe what they believe and why they don't believe in certain things that others believe in. And that is a positive step forward for the collective consciousness of humanity. You do not need to question everything in order to examine it fully and draw your own conclusions. You were never meant to just align yourself with one set of beliefs from the day you were capable of having a belief and adhere to those for the rest of your lives. That would be quite limiting 
and it is something you are moving past at this time. Of course, there have been humans who have done this, and there are humans who are doing it right now, but these are the humans who are awakening. Everyone has to start from somewhere, and so you have there on your world much more evidence of the existence of extraterrestrial life and consciousness than you ever have had before. It doesn't take much nowadays to make someone into a believer, and that is a crucial first step. There does, however, need to be a second step after that. People then need to understand that ETs are not to be feared. They are not to be feared, just as no aspect of yourself should be feared. You are there to have your initial reactions, but then ultimately to embrace everything and everyone, including the unseen, including the ETs, who have yet to make themselves known to the vast majority of humans there on Earth. And the next step is coming for so many who have begun to open themselves up to the possibility that life beyond Earth does in fact exist. There is a huge step forward for the human collective and a huge step toward joining the galactic community, officially, which is something you will do, and you will do soon. Just be patient with your fellow humans. They have chosen a different path than you have, but it is still a valid one. It is still one that needed to exist. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Networks of Beings from All Across the Galaxy Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are establishing new connections all the time, creating networks of beings from all across the galaxy. As we share our information, our insights, our ideas about how to help humanity and other civilizations who are living in density at this time, we all seek to help, and we all know at the same time that the best thing we can do for you is to see you flourishing, to see you succeeding and becoming more of your true selves, your whole selves. We hold space by seeing you as you really are, and we influence you by inviting you up into that reality, one where you think, act, and speak in alignment with Source, in alignment with the one truth, which is unconditional love. Now you all have the ability to do this for yourselves and others. You can learn from us. You can benefit from the feeling of connection that you have to us as we rub off on you by sending you the template for how this is done. You all have the ability to uplift just as you have the ability to tear down. And one of the points that we continue to hammer home for you is that nothing is gained by tearing another person down. You are only tearing down an aspect of yourself when you do so and you cannot do that and be whole at the same time. You must recognize that you are living in a hall of mirrors everyone reflecting a different aspect of you back to you and the goal is to love all parts of you even the parts you deem ugly unforgivable and without redemption remember that you are always looking at another aspect of self and an aspect of source at the same time and it will be easier then for you to let go of your resistance your judgment your hate it will get easier on all of you when you realize that this is the goal for every single human on earth just by making that the goal you accomplish something you move forward you release the angst and the tension of resistance more importantly you become more of who you really are when you allow everyone else to be as they are and you realize that there is always a way to accept to forgive and to love you need to be creating your own networks there on earth with other humans who like you understand what you are really there to do what you are really there to become Build your network, share your stories and your ideas, encourage each other. Even if someone else's ideas seems outlandish and impossible, remember that everything is possible and you are there to climb the highest mountains, to overcome the insurmountable obstacles, and to be love in the face of hate. You wouldn't be there right now if you were not up to these tasks and more. So remember that as well when you are facing your despair, there's always room for more light. There's always something more that you can offer from deep within your heart. And there will always be more connections to be made by those like you who want to be more like us and our colleagues here in the higher realms. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Now these particular channelings from the very get-go paint a picture of a large number of higher density beings and extraterrestrials that want to deeply to connect with us they want to come down in their ships but they have learned from the past that this did not work out very well and so they even have a channeling here where they 
sort of allow us to imagine them coming, which I found powerful because they're sort of painting a picture of what it could be like. And they're acknowledging that it could take some time and a lot of people need to raise their vibration in order to encounter the aliens that could come to our planet. But it's a real thing and they're saying that the more we're seeing this disclosure is a sign that there's a greater chance of open contact. And they talk about what open contact would mean. And it's interesting, they say that there's certain races that look like humans and those would probably be the ones that would come and visit us because it would be easier for us to handle. And I always envision what it would be like and it seems unlikely in my lifetime that we will have open contact but I believe that it is a small possibility and it would just be so exciting if we had higher density beings come to our planet and we could actually start to embrace some of their teachings and ideas. It would cause chaos. It probably cause wars and a lot of religions would be questioned, but I believe that there is something there. The truth of it is the Arcturians are always available to you and by listening to these channelings and reading Daniel's channelings, you are beginning the process of opening yourself up to these energies and allowing a template to be inserted sort of in your energy field that awakens the idea of these energies and teachings into your regular everyday life. And it's very powerful. The more I read these, the more I see cool things, the more I learn how to teach, the more I learn very subtle things. And I would ask, to question how you feel before you listen to one of these and afterwards it always seems to have a visceral emotional effect when i listen to these channelings but i would love to get your opinions you can find all episodes of the reality revolution at therealityrevolution.com and welcome to the reality revolution <laughs>